What's up, meatbags? I am the often imitated, never duplicated Tony TGD. And today we're going to be talking about game collecting, something to look out for because I know in this community, people that watch my show, a lot of you guys are game collectors. Myself, not a game collector, never have been, never will be. But I know a lot of you are. And I know a lot of you probably have seen a video talking about a variant of a Genesis card. But the fact of the matter is it's not actually a variant. It's a re-release, and we're going to go through it. We're going to explain what is going on. But before we do that, we got to hear the theme music. Hey, hey, get out of my way. This is going to be so you might as well stay. It's time to listen to the Geek in a All right, that was the theme music. Thank you, Tommy O, for doing that lovely, lovely music. Let me remind you to like the video, share it with your friends, and, of course, subscribe to the channel. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about this game right here, Andretti Racing, Mario Andretti Racing. For the Sega Genesis, as you can see, it is an EA game, but it's not in an EA game shell. Well, there's a reason for that, because this is a Majesco re-release. Now, if we take a closer look at the game, we do the little zoom in feature here. You can see it says 16-bit cartridge printed in the U.S. And if we go to the back, we can see right under the Sega label, it says assembled in Mexico. You see, these were re-release cartridges from Majesco, most of them made after the Sega Genesis life was over. Uh, a company named Majesco, they got the publishing rights to a lot of games on both Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. They went down to Mexico, got a bunch of these old Genesis cards, started pumping out games. They put them in flimsy cardboard boxes, gave you a cheap manual. They didn't even give you the poster that came with a lot of these games. And you know what? There was even some games that were released just in cart form. So you got to be wary. You got to look out for these things. These are not variants. These are not first party or second party or even third party published games. These are like fourth party. This is a company that came in after the fact, got a bunch of licenses, started producing cartridges, started pumping them out, selling them to the masses. And that's what we have here. Now, I know that you probably don't believe me. A lot of people say, Tony, you don't know what you're talking about. You never know what you're talking about. Well, Luckily, we have this Sega 16 form here. Uh, I will put a link to it. It says thir Thread. It's a guide to identifying accolade slash ballistic and Majesco reprints. Uh, that's right. It says, how do you know what type of reprint is yours? Just examine the following elements. The box from Majesco. It says, you flip over the paper forward box and examine the fine print at the bottom. You will find Majesco's address as well as assembled in Mexico, written somewhere nearby. For accolade slash ballistic it says reprints would usually come in a standard plastic clamshell box with a sticker on the box that reads published by ballistic and mentioning of assembled in mexico somewhere near the fine print some games will also include a then up-to-date rating marker from the esrb that wasn't there on the game's original printing now for the carts majesco on the back of the majesco game cartridge you will find a large black sticker that thoroughly covers an acclaim entertainment logo this sticker will be larger and darker than those used by accolade ballistic it says, as mentioned above, Accolade Ballistic used smaller stickers to mask the Acclaim Entertainment logo on the back of each cart. Even when placed crookedly, the stickers stay within the bounds of the logo outline. It also appears that some cart molds were doctored to print the Sega logo instead of, and it probably saved more money on stickers in the process. And as we've seen on the cart for Andretti Racing, it says assembled in Mexico. I will put a link to that. Also, I'll put a link to a list of all the Super Nintendo games that Majesco reprinted in the description below i just wanted to put that out there wanted to let you guys know be weary of what you're buying make sure that you're buying original carts these are basically legal bootlegs in a sense because the company legally acquired the rights to reprint them republish them but they're not the originals some people might try to pass them off as the originals they're not they're not variants these have different you uh you uh upcs and that's the word i was looking for they got different upcs from the original so you can tell right away, if you just look at the key things, it says assembled in Mexico, it says, uh, you know, made in Mexico. If you see ESRB ratings on games that didn't have ESRB ratings, those are not originals. Those are reprints, reproduction. However you want to classify it, they're not the carts that came out during the Sega Genesis era. They were published after the fact, probably by Matesco. So now you know, and you know how we do it on this channel. Love, peace, booty grease. I'm out this bitch.